says about it. Uh, it is otherworldly. It's idyllic. It's fully immersive. This is some high praise for the Shivandana. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Shivanada. Shivananda. Something like that. Um, it is a fancy ashram yoga retreat in the Bahamas. Paradise Island, actually, to be exact. And those quotes come from the Goop website, Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle brand. And whether Taylor Casey read that review or whether Taylor Casey did not read that review, she too wanted in. She's been into yoga for 15 years and her family says that she was excited to bring what she learned back to Chicago. But last Thursday, almost a week ago, Taylor went missing from Paradise Island. And now her family has enlisted the help of the Bahamian police. Her mom says she thinks Taylor is in danger. News Nation's senior national correspondent Brian Enton jumped a plane to the Bahamas to investigate, and he is live now from uh, Paradise Island. So, first of all, that was fast. Uh, you got there, um, and you were able to go to the retreat, the yoga retreat today. What did you learn? I was, yeah, I was fast, only about a 35-minute flight from Miami. It's, it's quiet here this time of year, Ashley, almost eerily quiet. That bridge in the background there, that goes over to Paradise Island. The big buildings back there, that's Atlantis, the big, fancy, famous Atlantis Resort. Uh, this retreat is, is pretty close to Atlantis, which you're about to see. This is a 41-year-old woman from Chicago, from what we can tell, works at a hospital, really into yoga, has done yoga for the past 15 years, wanted to come to this very, very well-known, prestigious ashram, as they call it. You mentioned endorsed by Gwyneth Paltrow's brand, wanted to get a certification in a specialized kind of yoga, uh, but then vanished from this piece of paradise. And, and we went out there. It wasn't exactly easy to get there uh, this afternoon. Take a look. It's not easy to get to the Sivanandra Ashram, the yoga retreat uh, where Taylor Casey was staying. There's really no roads to get there here on Paradise Island, on this part of the island. So the only way that we could find is to walk down the beach. So we made it to the ashram uh, where she was staying. You can see it's, it's pretty quiet right now, but there are people still staying here. There's some smaller buildings on this side. There's uh, larger buildings over here. And it's very, very close to the Atlantis Resort. Those big pink buildings in the distance, uh, that's a big, big tourism destination here on Paradise Island. I'm not seeing anybody searching on the beach. Yeah, there is or nobody searching. No, I haven't seen anybody searching either. That's why I was surprised you didn't, like, say, I was thinking there'd be, like, flyers. Oh, well... You can go in there. Hi. Do you know any, have anything new to, about the missing woman, no, Taylor Casey? No. We no? Nothing. Okay. We've heard nothing, so you won't have to get any information from us this evening. C can I leave my card? Is that okay? My business card? Yeah. I'm okay. Really it really is just stunningly gorgeous out there, Ashley. But, but I was surprised that there were no um, flyers anywhere. There were no posters. Uh, I thought maybe in the lobby that some of the guests would, would know what was going on. A lot of them have just checked in this week, so they weren't aware that a woman went missing last week. Uh, but, but, but that surprised me. I even saw a couple other missing persons flyers on the road for other people, uh, but nothing for this woman from Chicago. So I know that... Uh Look, Bahamas has taken it on the chin lately, you know. There's been some stuff that's happened with tourists there. And I know that the Ministry of Tourism made a statement today. What did they say? Yeah, they're very careful. I mean, they, they survive here because of tourism. That is the main business here. It's really one of the only businesses. So, so this is the kind of thing that really freaks them out. And they're very, very careful about what they say because there's been issues in the past, as you say, with murders and robberies and other crime lately. Uh, but but the, the minister, she did talk today a little bit about it. Take a listen. ...the family information recently, and we have a visitor relations department that would reach out. But again, it's an active police investigation. So there's only so much we can do at this time as it relates to publicity or information. Uh, we're guided by the authorities. However, we do have a very strong team both local and international, and we will continue to make sure that the act actual information um, that is available is shared with the relevant parties, including our media team here on the ground. Our hearts are with the family of the person that is missing, and I'm sure that the authorities are doing everything within their power to bring some resolve. 
And we do know, Ashley, that Casey's family is now here on the ground in the Bahamas, that they're meeting with investigators, that the State Department is also uh, involved as they try to figure out where she is, how she just vanished here on the island. Why does her mom believe that there is danger for sure? Yeah, and she said that. She was clear uh, today. She hasn't said it on camera yet, but, but she said it, that, that she believes that, that her daughter's in danger. And the reason is because she says she would just never disappear. This is totally unlike her. She was so excited for the yoga retreat um, and that she was excited to come back and teach some of what she learned here. She had been looking forward to coming for so long. She says it just makes no sense that, that she would just vanish. And where would she go? She doesn't know anyone here. It's an island. She says it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, it's a bizarre story because Paradise Island is, like I said, it's like Disneyland. Uh, you don't think that this kind of thing's going to happen yeah. there. And certainly Atlantis is so controlled. There's so much security. There's cameras everywhere. I know this is off the beaten path from Atlantis down the beach, but, uh, but it is weird. Brian Enton, 